This is New Jersey Tonight, and the gift of life is what a 15-year-old boy from Wall Township has been able to give to dozens in need of organ donation. And to say thank you, Luke Bautista will be honored at the Rose Bowl Parade in California in a very special manner. News 12 New Jersey's Chris Keating is here to tell us how. Chris? Roxanne, Luke Bautista was able to donate five organs and help 100 other people in his death through tissue donation. To say thank you, his likeness will be included in a very special float in the Rose Parade on New Year's Day. Luke Bautista is among 44 organ donors who will be honored with a florograph on a float at the Rose Parade. It's his likeness made up of flowers and other natural materials, and it was unveiled to family tonight by two of Bautista's organ recipients. The photograph will be placed on a float that promotes organ donation. One of his recipients is Andre Thomas. It was six years I was waiting for this kidney transplant. 31-year-old father of three, Thomas, has Bautista's kidney. Before receiving it, he was on dialysis three times a week and had already been alive thanks to a liver transplant. My liver transplant was saving my life and my rebirth was Luke's kidney, so I feel like my normal self again. There were some 200 people on hand for this ceremony inside Jersey Shore Medical Center to honor Bautista's gift. Among them, his parents and brother. It helps to know that Luke has such a greater purpose in his life. I really believe that he was, you know, meant to fly high and he's doing exactly that. Chris Bautista is proud to say his son was able to donate a heart, kidneys, liver and pancreas following his untimely death. It's been amazing to see how many people that my son influenced during his life and then, you know, 15 short years. But now to see that he's still able to do that now is just amazing. Now this year's float at the parade is called the gift of time. Meanwhile, the New Jersey Sharing Network says that in 2016, people who agreed to donate saved 613 lives. Chris Keating, News 12 New Jersey.